because I've never had any trouble with it. This is 400 pound Andy. Now there are some leaders on the market today which will vary, they'll actually split like a banana and just peel off like a banana. Some of them you put a, a crimp on them and it weakens them so badly they will break. The other thing is, whilst some of these leaders will test out at 400 pounds, when they get a sudden jerk on them like that, you'll see some of them turn white, turn very creamy. That means your lead has gone on you and it's lost all its strength. So just watch out for those leaders that start to turn milky. I would say give them away. Get one that retains its color. And I've found out that Andy will always do that. Now the next part is the line, and the line can give you a lot of problem also. There are some lines again on the market which behave like the leader. They will actually test to the breaking strain of 37 kg, but they cannot absorb the shock of the marlin taking up on it. And when you do that, you'll see the line will turn white again. It's no good. Now, there are some of those lines on the market now. I've always used Andy for over the last 25 years. Never had any problem with it. If there is a problem, invariably, it's my fault. So the next thing is to make sure you get good line. When you've got that fish on, you don't want to suddenly hear plump and your line will pass. Now, if your line does part, and it parts with a dull thunk, if it's not a very sharp track, if it's just a dull one, that means your line has gone on you. Your line has let you down. A good line, if you put too much weight on, and it breaks, you will hear it, it will crack. Just like that, crack. Not thunk. And when it goes thunk, throw your line away and get another one because your line has gone on you, it's just given up. A tremendous bonus to game fishing is the fantastic scenery of Northland. This is Wangaroa Harbour, just north of Brussels. Last century, it was New Zealand's busiest harbour, believe it or not. It's absolutely beautiful and completely sheltered. The next piece of equipment is, of course, the reel. That's also important. Again, for over 25 years, I've always used pen reels. I've had no problem with them, and I find they're easy to maintain. This is one of the new ones, the new two-speed. Just press the button, it comes out, that's on three and a half to one, push it in, it's on one to one, which means you can literally winch your fish in. It's a great innovation. But again, you've got to look after them. You must never leave the rod with the strike, with the lever up to strike. Now what happens, that compresses a spring that's in your clutch. And that little spring 